In this video, we will learn how to section a pentagonal pyramid and then how to develop the surfaces. The question is, a pentagonal right pyramid with base edge dimensions of 30 mm each and height of 40 mm is resting on the horizontal plane with one base edge parallel to the vertical plane. It is cut by an auxiliary inclined plane which is perpendicular to the VP and inclined to the HP at 45 degree angle. The auxiliary inclined plane bisects the axis of the pyramid, draw the front view, sectional top view and develop the surface of the remaining parts of the pyramid. Let us first visualize the problem. So this pyramid is kept on the HP. So we will draw the base of the pyramid which is a regular pentagon. It will be true shape of the base of the pyramid as the pyramid is on the horizontal plane on its base. It also represents the top view. This base edge is parallel to the VP. So let us now complete the pictorial view of this pyramid. So we will connect the vertices to the apex of the pyramid. So the apex is uh, 40 mm above the base. So now this is the freehand sketch of the pyramid. Now the section plane is coming at 45 degree, making 45 degree angle with the HP. So the section plane is something like this. And the section plane will cut the edges of the um, pyramid and also two of the base edges. As you can see in the front side, two of the base edges will be cut by this section plane. So now let us draw we will draw the top view below the reference line and front view above the reference line of the pyramid in the first angle projection system. So this we are drawing before sectioning. You can use the exterior angle method to draw this pentagon of sides 30 mm. So each side of this pentagon base is 30 mm in dimension. So the exterior angle for pentagon is 72 degree. The top view will make a regular pentagon of 30 mm sides. So this is going to be the top view of the pentagonal pyramid and it will be a regular pentagon. So the top view is ready. So now we will draw the center line. So center line will pass through the midpoint of the one of the base which is parallel to the reference line. So this is the center line. So the axis of this pyramid will fall on this center line and also the center line passes through the center of the top view. So locate the center of the pentagon by drawing perpendicular to one side and intersecting that line with the center line. So O is the center point. Now level the top view as A, B, C, D, E. The center of this pentagon is the top view of the apex of the pyramid and is leveled as O. Now we will draw the projectors from the top view and complete the front view of the pyramid above the reference line. So we are following the first angle projection. So the front view will appear above the reference line. The pentagon is on the horizontal plane and hence the base of the pyramid will be projected in the front view to coincide with the reference line.
the height of the pyramid is 40 mm so we mark this apex and we connect the apex to the vertices so all the vertices will be connected with the apex and these are the front views of these edges so the front view is ready we will also draw hidden line for the edge OE because OE is not visible from the front so it will be hidden line similarly edge OD will also be a hidden line so now we dimension the, uh, the sides so in the top view uh, these are the sides which are 30 mm so these are basically the base edges So A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E and E, A all are 30 mm and the height of this pyramid is 40 mm. Now locate the midpoint of the vertical axis of the pyramid in the front view because the sectioning plane is going to pass through this uh, midpoint so 20 mm from the apex as well as 20 mm from the base so now the section plane is making 45 degree angle with the HP so it will be seen here making 45 angle so draw the section plane vertical trace which will be a line in the front view because the section plane is perpendicular to the vertical plane cutting plane line which bisects the vertical axis of the pyramid is shown here so the section plane is cutting two of the base edges AB and AE also it is cutting the four of the five slant edges Note that the edge OA will be completely removed along the, with the top cut part of the pyramid. Top views of the slant edges of the pyramid are shown here. We should also show the top view of the slant edges. So now we can identify the intersection points. The top view of the points at which the edges are cut is shown here by these points. For the edge OB, we cannot find the top view of the cut point just by dropping the projector line. So we will use another method for this. The other intersection points can be identified in the top view. Now let us connect all the intersection points in the top view these are the points where the section plane has cut the edges of the pentagonal pyramid of course we are yet to find the intersection point on the slant edge OB we will find the point of intersection on OB by true length method so first we make an arc so draw an arc of radius OB with O as the center until the radius of the arc is parallel to the reference line. Draw the radius of the arc parallel to the reference line. Now project this end point to the reference line. So this is like we have rotated the slant edge OB until it became parallel to the vertical plane. Now the front view of this rotated slant edge will give us the true length of the edge. This is the true length of the edge OB as it is the front view of this edge which after rotation such that it became parallel to the VP. So any line which is parallel to the VP will be seen in true length in the front view. Draw a horizontal line from the point of intersection between the section plane and the front view O prime B prime. This is the point of intersection of the section plane on true length of the slant edge OB. Draw a projection to the top view of this edge. 
draw an arc to bring the point of intersection on the actual projection OB in the top view of the slant edge OB. So this is the way we find out the intersection points. So this is the top view of the point of intersection between the section plane and the slant edge OB. So now we have found out all the intersection points in the top view. So we will label them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now we have obtained the top view of the section pyramid or the sectional top view. So all these intersection points are labeled in the front view also with a prime. These are the corresponding intersection points. Now we will draw the development of the section pentagonal pyramid, that is of the lower remaining part. So this is the true length of the edge. All the edges are same. So draw a line segment parallel to the true length of OB as shown here. So we have shifted the true length to uh, a different location which is parallel. All edges are essentially same and equal to this true length OA because it is a regular pentagonal pyramid. We take this line segment as the edge OA and start the development of the pyramid. Draw a big arc with O as the center and OA as the radius. Take the base edge dimension of 30 mm on your compass and cut this length on the arc 5 times for 5 base edges. If it was hexagon then it will make 6. So here there are 5 base edges which are represented by these segments. So we start from OA, edge OA. Connect the points which are the base vertices of the pyramid. So starting with A, B, C, D and E. Connecting the vertices of the to the apex O will make the slant edges in their true length on the developed pyramid surface. So these lines represent the slant edges of the pyramid. So these two edges are in fact the same edge OA. So we start from OA and come back to OA. So label these base vertices. So A, B, C, D, E and ending with A. So this is the development of the pyramid itself before cutting. So the base of the pyramid is cut between 1, 6. Intersection points 1 and 6 can be transferred to the developed surface by measuring their distances from the vertices. Use the compass and measure the distance between points A and 1. Cut this distance on the development from A on the line AB. Similarly, now measure the distance between A and 6 and cut this distance from A on the line AE. So we have found the points 1 and 6. Now we will transfer the intersection points 2, 3, 4 and 5 from the front view by first drawing a horizontal line up to the line OA. So now we will transfer intersection point 5. So intersection point 5 is on the edge OE. Hence we will transfer the point on the development using a compass as shown here. So we bring this point to OE. This is intersection point 5 on the developed surface which is on the slant edge OE. Draw horizontal line from 2' prime in the front view to OA. 
intersection point 2 is on the slant edge OB. So we can use the compass to transfer point 2 onto the slant edge OB. Now we transfer the intersection point 4 prime from the front view by drawing horizontal line to OA. Intersection point 4 is on the slant edge OD, so we use the compass to transfer the point to OD. Now for point 3 prime in the front view, also we follow the same procedure draw a horizontal line to meet OA and then draw an arc. Point 3 is on the slant edge OC, hence draw the arc up to line OC on the developed surface. So now we have found out all the points. So points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 are the intersection points between the section plane and the slant edges of the pyramid. We will connect these points on the developed surface of the given pyramid. The developed surface of the section pyramid is given here as the surface bound by the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, E, D, C, B, 1. Let us trace this developed surface of the section pyramid on a paper. So these are the vertices. Now we will connect these vertices. And these are the intersection points between the section plane and the slant edges. So we connect all of them. So this is the uh, developed surface. Now cut out the developed pyramid surface and then let us fold to reconstruct the section pyramid surface. So it exactly matches the development, the developed surface. So we fold along the slant edges. So all the slant edges OA, OB, OC, OD and OE they have been shown here with these folds. So now if we fold this paper then we should be able to make the section pyramid that we have just now developed. So this is the developed pyramid surface after section. So the top part is not shown here. What we are seeing is the bottom part. So thanks for watching this video and please write your comments and queries below.